Wes, it's been cooler than what we've seen the last right. few days. Yeah, the week really changed after the storms in front. Remember, we started off the week with mid to upper 80s, and then the last three days, Wednesday, Thursday, and even this afternoon, we had highs in the low 70s. So pretty enjoyable to wrap up the week. Next week, we're back into the 80s. In fact, it's all 80s as we look ahead to the first full week of May, and that includes Tuesday and Wednesday's high which will once again be close to 90 degrees. So we will warm up eventually this weekend, but we're also going to have to keep an eye on the radar. Remember, our weather this weekend is going to come from the northwest. Today it brought us some clouds. There's a little bit of light rain that might sneak in here later tonight. Nothing significant, though. And then we've got some scattered showers. Again, light rain here and there throughout the day tomorrow. That'll interrupt our Saturday. But very comfortable as we wrap up the work and school week. Remember, the last day of April is tomorrow. So just like that, and four months are gone this year. Temperatures around 70 here in Raleigh, a couple degrees warmer in Cary, where it's 72. It's 68 up in Durham. And as we head down in the Sand Hills, you can see a little bit warmer with mid to upper 70s. Grays Creek, even 80 degrees. You guys usually run a little bit warmer on that sensor, but you get the idea. It's pretty mild outside there today. As we head into tonight, not going to be as chilly. Remember, the last couple mornings we've started off in the 40s. So tonight we'll slowly fall through the 60s. Then just down into the 50s overnight, including 54 tomorrow morning. As for the rain, you can see we've got some small chances that will develop overnight, including for tomorrow morning. And the temperatures I mentioned, today we were in the 70s, tomorrow we're going to be in the 70s, but once this boundary that's parked down there to our south, once that pushes north on Sunday, much warmer weather will return. So we've got some 80s to talk about later this weekend, but we've also got some rain. So let's walk through both days together. I do like Sunday as the pick day of the weekend, but not by much. Here we are tomorrow morning. Clouds, little bit of light rain. Again, nothing significant. The better chance of seeing rain tomorrow, lunchtime and from the triangle on the north. As we get into the afternoon, notice a little bit of light rain coming from the northwest. Everyone pretty much socked in with mostly cloudy skies, and then we'll see that rain really start to dissipate late tomorrow night. Sunday, remember that front comes through. We warm up. Morning time Sunday, we've got some dry weather, some sunshine in the afternoon with warmer temperatures, and then the rain we're talking about Sunday doesn't look to arrive until Sunday night. So a lot going on this weekend, including the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Take Steps Walk. That's out at Dorothea Dix Park tomorrow morning. Starts at 10 a.m. I'll be out there helping to steer everyone around. And our temperatures warming into the 60s with just a little small chance of some light rain. So, again, tomorrow it's light rain. We're warmer Sunday and then get used to the 80s because they're around Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all of next week. But on your exclusive 10 day forecast, we do drop back into the 70s by next weekend.